yeah other thing being that I want to do the uh, extra little bit added it's, it's very very short actually thankfully uh, let's go to the, the last visit set X number of years later I can't remember the, uh, not years months even I think I can't remember now I think it is probably set years later. Although, not too sure about details. So, yeah, basically, as I was saying earlier, uh, medicine caused deformities in the child. He was nuts. Cutting, caused, you know, cutting a long story short. And basically killed the mother. The father then buried in the garden. Uh, of course, the made accidentally I took a picture of that and I'm about to start investigating this is very short you can't even visit half of the areas this actually uh, prove useful. yeah you can't even go to half the areas that the game had in the first one case in point it's totally flooded and horrible looking fill that with water It looks like so whoever left all this stuff in here must have been leaving the house. I don't see the point in doing that. Oh no, of course you have to go down into the what you call it first. Okay. It's all the good. Whole place is exhibiting signs of vandalism and trashing. As you can see, it's um yeah, it's uh pretty dead in here. Whole place has been trashed. I'm surprised there's any furniture left to be honest. Let's go and have a look in here. Oh look, the door's been ripped off. Ah, <coughs> oh, there's an intense smell of urine in this room. It seems like cats have claimed it as their home. Ah, there's some object inside that hole. Ah, there's also a nasty cat in there as well. It almost ripped my hand off. But we already know where that hole goes because we saw it in the sort of conclusion to the original game. And so now that we have a bucket of water, what is it that cats do not like? I love that sound effect. <laughs> like, what the fuck was that? Seriously? Anyway. Now we can go and get the object the cat was guarding. I don't even remember what it was. I think it was a rag. And the prize is a doorknob. Ooh, thrilling! Can't 
can't remember which door it's even for. for one of them, I can't remember which. In its current state, this is an extremely uninviting dining room. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. So you see, most of it is in an extreme state of disrepair. Totally trashed. Nothing sacred, I swear. Ugh. I wonder if this kitchen was ever tidy. Not really, actually. We can go down to the basement. The atmosphere is almost unbearable down here in the basement. The walls are dripping with moisture. Now we need something. Is it that? Yeah, that. It's a remember what furnace, else which still doesn't seem quite large enough to keep the whole house there are cloth or rags in here somewhere Can't remember. ah there it is I knew it was in here somewhere now I did say this was very short and I'm actually almost finished it's basically just one big puzzle that takes about 10 minutes to solve, even if you don't really know what you're doing. It doesn't really add that much to the story other than it just gives it a bit more of a conclusion, ties up most of the loose ends. Most of the loose ends. Rag is too dry to have any effect on the mud. Pull it back and oh I dear. can't tell exactly why. I can't tell exactly why, but I don't like this mask one bit. The mask is evil. Come to Mama Sloth. He's not even running that fast. I can run faster than that. That's not really saying much. <laughs> so you cannot get scared by something that looks that ridiculous. I'm sorry, you can't. That would hurt. It also sounds like a person with a really bad stomach ache. Who are you? What are you doing here? Can't you see this place is dangerous? Robin, please forgive me. I had to kill you before I could come to my And that's James Blackwood. So James Blackwood is dead. Robin is a psychopath, mutated freak thing. And uh, that was the entire last bit. <laughs> like I said, pretty short, fairly pointless other than tying up a few loose ends. I tried putting together what I just experienced to no avail. I was in shock and couldn't think clearly. And it took many days until I was ready to pass judgment on what I'd seen. The Blackwood estate has now been demolished, and I have arrived at the conclusion. 
It is clear that the Blackwood family, with the help of this Dr. Milton, kept their son hidden from the public as he was suffering from severe malformations. It is yep. unclear whether he was truly dangerous or the Blackwoods were simply psychotic. Quite possibly one thing led to another. And this situation ended with the death of Catherine Blackwood. Which is what I just told everyone. We can finally give some closure to this sad episode in the peaceful town of Rothbury. And yet, there's something I can't quite explain. Uh, a missing link. Something that just doesn't fit. We may never know what the real heart of the mystery is. But for the time being, this will have to do. Ooh. And that's the actual last visit bit that I decided to add for reasons I haven't got a clue of. So, there you have it. Scratch's Director's Cut. It's a fun little game. I mean, like I said, I've never totally gotten on with point and click games, but it's pretty good fun. So, yeah, sorry if this LP wasn't exactly thrilling. But, uh... <coughs> but, um... Well, I do what I can. I'm not exactly fantastic at these things, but I hope you get some level of enjoyment out of them. Really do need to sit down and do something a bit bigger next time, I think. See, my problem is thinking of topics. Maybe I should do a live LP. Nah, it's way too tricky to set up. I don't know. I'll work on something. Got this idea. What the hell am I going to do next? I haven't got the faintest idea. Oh well. See you next time.